Hi everyone. So, you know when you're just walking around and you're thinking about deep vein thrombosis, DVT, uh, or blood clots as they're like also known, and you're thinking about um, how best to treat them from a therapeutic point of view. Um, so many therapists and nurses, you know, when I'm teaching the course on edema management, say, well, what about DVTs? You can't do compression or you can't do um, any edema or swelling treatments if someone has a DVT. So, you know, in honor of edema week, I just want to drop in and talk about this a little bit. Um, when someone has a blood clot, as is really common um, in a lot of the patients we see, because the main cause of blood clot is immobility, maybe after surgery or after a condition that uh, reduces your mobility, like a, a stroke or a spinal cord injury, so we're, we're often seeing it, um, you're highly at risk to develop a DVT. And um, DVTs have a whole ho host of complicating factors. You know, if you have a DVT, you're gonna have pain, swelling, uh, but most uh, worrying for clinicians, you're gonna be at risk for a pulmonary embolism. Um, so a lot of times clinicians, you know, kind of give the patient a little bit of space and say, we're not gonna do too much, um, and we're certainly not going to touch that limb uh, or like put anything on it to try and decrease the swelling. On the contrary though, evidence says, um, research strongly supports using strong compression, the, the word strong compression, to treat DVT. Um, in the acute phase, that is, in the acute phase of DVT, the best quality, the best treatment that you can do is strong compression. So um, uh, let's just talk about what an acute DVT is. Acute DVT is what they refer to the DVT up to about 28 days of development and that's when the DVT is small and agile and mobile like me in my 20s and it can get around and go to different places. In this stage of the DVT you want to give it strong compression. You want to use inelastic bandages or an adjustable garment on the leg. This is going to reduce the swelling from becoming greater. It's going to have a significant reduction in pain for the person because DVTs are very painful. And it's going to generally improve their quality of life. So then you move into the stage of the chronic DVT. Chronic DVT is after 28 days when the DVT gets smaller and attaches itself to the vessel. So smaller is a good thing, right? Like we, we're happy about that. Um, but it's attaching itself to the inside of the vein. So what does that do? It decreases the diameter of the vein and the blood can't get through as easily. The circulation is impaired. So what do we want to do at that stage? Of course, we still want to keep up our compression if swelling is an issue, but also now we want to start bringing in manual lymphatic drainage. So that's that hands-on manual technique where you help guide the fluid through the pathways and up into more proximal regions of the body. This is like supporting that circulation, supporting that vein that is now a little bit thinner and, and not able to circulate as well. Um, so that's, uh, that's what we're going to be doing there. Um, and then of course the other things that you just can't ignore are skincare because when you have chronic persistent edema in the peripheries you can get some really gnarly skin conditions that go along with that. Uh, exercise which you know when I started out in therapy world too many years ago to say um, people thought that exercise was like you know you wanted to avoid it with your person with a, a, an acute blood clot but actually it's been shown to not only help with blood clots but help to prevent developing a post-thrombotic syndrome, which uh, is a, just something you don't want to know about, but also develops in like up to half of people who have a DVT. So it's fairly common. And of course, education, educating your patient the whole way through. So um, I actually wrote an article on this. I'm going to link to it in the um, comments below. So if you're interested in this, uh, if you have come across this issue with your patients where they have a DVT and you wanna do something about it, but it's a little bit too intimidating, please have a read and let me know what you think. You know, this is something that has come up so much and I've worked with a lot of therapists, doctors, nurses on this issue. So, uh, you know, in honor of Edema Week, I just wanted to drop in and uh, make you the smartest clinician in the room in relation to this topic. <laughs> so uh, enjoy and I'll see you again soon.